And hello guys, it is Super Space Terror back with yeah, another Elder Scrolls Online video. So, um, we're still doing the Ruthless Competition Quest, but I now officially own Elder Scrolls Online, so I don't have to rush through as many quests as possible within 11 days. I can start taking my time a bit more, even though I was kind of still doing that, but I had sworn off of doing the um, and story quest because I knew I wouldn't be able to finish them, finish it within 11 days because it took me months to finish the entire main story quest for Kanazi's Roost originally on the game before some of the changes that have happened that have seemed to make it even longer to play through. Um, yeah. Oh, what's this one? Oh, okay. So, let's do these um, prologue quest. I'm gonna complete all of these before we start on um, some of the other ones. Anyway, we're talking to Arashi now. Oh wait, no, I already talked to you. Uh, I gotta find your assistant. If you are looking for information, then you've come to the right place. I am the most knowledgeable broker in the refuge. On the other hand, if you work for the town guard, I have no idea what we're talking about. Okay, I seek information about Marcus Darius. Well, information is my primary business, and business is good. Which reminds me, I never give anything away for free. Especially information. Perform a favor for me. Then I'll tell you what I know about Margus Darius. Okay, that makes sense. What kind of favor? The best kind. One that benefits us both. Allow me to mark a house on your map. Inside you'll find a crate that contains an elegant jacket. I am something of a snappy dresser and I want that jacket. Bring it to me and I'll tell you all about Margus. You want me to steal someone's jacket? Okay, that's pity. Not pity, um, stupid. I'd rather do the, uh, assistant thing. Okay. Essendir. A thousand greetings, Wayfarer. This is no place for casual visitors. You have wandered into a nest of vipers. But have no fear. A Shundir will take care of you. Come closer and let us conduct business. You're a Shundir or the smuggler. I need to ask you about something. Oh, I prefer merchant to smuggler, <laughs> but call me what you will. I transport rare and valuable antiquities, no questions asked. I'm also considered the most knowledgeable Argonian relics expert outside of Black Marsh. So, how can I help you this day? Uh, Margus. Arios, or however you say his last name? Ah, I know Margus well. We both deal in antiquities. He actually approached me recently. As a consultant, you understand. So I'm familiar with Margus's current plans. I am happy to share that information. In exchange for a simple favor. I can't get the Intimidate perk for a while. If I check... Um... Like a passive thing or something. I may not even be able to get it at all. Is it under wool? Nope. Um. Yeah, so I can't get it for a while. Don't even know how to get it. Oh, at level 10 I get a horse. Good to know, because I'm getting close to that.
There it is an appearance tab. Duh. Give your companions items? What? actually quite better. Um yeah you're you're very much better. Just cost of wool and sprint. Okay we're gonna lock you. That's why I kept you is because you were better. Um for you and now you're not better so we can for you. I can equip poisons. The appearances are... Are they miscellaneous? They are... Um... Huh. I don't know how to get appearances then. So I thought it was that. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I don't have any. Uh, until I get way better gear, I'm not actually going to. What is it? Um, put lift things on them, put enchantments on my stuff. Thousand green. Oh, I prefer. Ah, I require a Wamasu egg. Not just any egg, mind you. A specific egg from a specific nest. Let me mark the location on your map. Bring me an egg from that nest, and I'll tell you more about Margus than you really care to know. Fine. Ah, do not take too long. I want an egg, not a hatchling, after all. <laughs> May a hundred shades of luck color your days, Wayfair. You'll get what I give you. But too bad. Okay, so I'll talk to you. one, two, three. Um. Okay, so I've talked to all of them now. I gotta do go do everyone's task. Luckily, it marks all the location to the uh, Outlaws Refuge on my map now because of this quest. I can never find this place sometimes. Oh boy. I don't know who doesn't know. I used to play this game on Xbox like years ago and I stopped because I ran out of Xbox Live Gold. And since this game isn't free, technically I need Xbox Live Gold to play it on Xbox. And also on PlayStation you need a uh, PlayStation Live or PlayStation Network or whatever it's called. Um, so. Stopped being able to play it, so I stopped playing it. And now I own it on PC. So I don't have to ever worry about the PS Now or not PS Now, um, PlayStation Network subscription or Xbox Live Gold. Okay, this is the only close one, it looks like. Wait, where are the others? Can't zoom out more than that? Hmm. There we go. Oh boy, you're on like the other side, yeah. 
We only have to do one. We're gonna get this elegant jacket. That is by far the easiest. And this is it. I don't have a mount. So going to do the other ones is going to be a pain in the world to she. They're literally on the other side. Well, not on the other side. One's like, oh boy. May not be able to do this quest. Did you have to do it without getting caught for one? Oh, it doesn't even look like there's cards in this area. Five. Promise they go down so far that makes it so hard. Oh boy, we got it. Of course, someone owns this house. Hey, kitty. You just not care that I'm robbing you? Leave right now. Can't you see that I'm furious? Yeah, I can see it, but you guys are not doing anything. And hey, maybe this would be a good house to rob. <laughs> We're not doing any of them soon though. <laughs> they literally don't care. Give her this thing. Game pros. Oh, it crashed. Um. Okay, the game just crashed. Don't know what that was about. Oh, so I didn't mention this, but last time I ran the game, which was for the last episode, maybe two, um, I had somehow the files got corrupted and I have not messed with the game files at all. So I had to literally sit there for a while for it to repair all the verify and repair all the files so i don't know what's going on i don't think elder scrolls online likes me too much right now uh, yesterday it took like a few hours for it to go through all the files and replace anything that went missing i haven't touched anything in the game files so i don't know Luckily, your save data, from what I know of, is kept on their servers, so I didn't lose anything. Uh, 
But uh, yeah. So we got the elegant jacket, now all we gotta do is give it to the lady. And then, if we're lucky, that will complete this quest. I doubt it though. I feel like you gotta do all three items. Cause then it's like, why would you do the other two? So. But I really like Elder Scrolls Online. It's like one of those MMOs where sometimes it's a little annoying, especially with like mount speeds. It can feel like it takes forever to go across the map, get to new locations and stuff, but the game is pretty nice. I like it better than Roblox Deep Woken. I do not like that game. Mostly because I can't understand the combat system and it doesn't have a way to keep track of your quest like this game does. Like this game literally shows you where to go for some of your quests. Some of the quests it shows you like an area and you gotta like do stuff in that area but yeah. And we're back. I should have said it right before the crash. This game does a good job of saving. I'm pretty sure it saves every second, maybe. So, um, for anyone who ever looks at my mouse popular upload, you'll notice there's a need for speed video with over, I think it was 35,000 views. I don't understand that. Um, I was just doing a thing where I literally picked two of the worst cards I could find in the game, um, with their point values assigned by the game and upgrading them and seeing if I could be Owl's Rush, which is the final last rush in the game. And somehow I did better with that than a car that I bought at a decently high level and then upgraded to be decently higher. So, I don't understand. For some reason, a lot of people really like watching that. And I also got a lot of crap for it. <laughs> Is people are like that's not a, the worst car in the game that good car and it's like what so i don't understand that when you literally put the exact title in the title exactly what you're doing you will give you crap for it <laughs> i don't understand that it's like people have to find a reason to argue with you for stuff like people will be like like you literally put exactly what's in the title but exactly what's gonna happen in the title. People dislike the video. It's like, why are you watching it then? You knew you weren't gonna like it because of what the title says, then don't even click on it. It's a waste of time. Okay. 
Why isn't it showing quest markers? Oh, there we go. Oh, you can come up here, it looks like. I didn't know that. How did I get on the wrong side of the wall? Huh, I don't understand that. I don't understand that one bit. Okay. Don't know who's talking. Right don't know who is talking. I don't think they were talking to me, but an end with the four man. Sounds interesting. Sounds like a scoop I could use. Okay, it's being really laggy for you guys. Don't know what that's about. I don't understand that. OBS is run game way worse than this. I don't get why it's struggling so much to run this. Oh, someone killed you. How nice of them. Someone really is trying to be a bad guy. I'm gonna talk to this woman and then we're gonna head into the video. I may jump to another quest that's not so distant because I don't feel like going halfway across the map. So, oh, we'll see. Hmm. Luckily, if I would get to the locations, I would be able to fast travel back to the city after completing both of them because might as well click both of them when I'm on that side of the map. Um, Let's talk to this woman about her stupid jacket. A little bird told me you were on your way down here. It also mentioned that you had something that would make both of us very happy. Is it true? Were you able to acquire the elegant jacket? Yours is. Perfect. Did you know this jacket belonged to an associate of Margus Darius? There should be a note in the pocket. Ah, here it is. And this confirms the information I promised to share with you. Margus works with a group called the Blackguards. Who are they? Just one of the most dangerous bands of outlaws to emerge from the swamps of Black Marsh. The group supposedly started years ago in Black Rose Prison. I'm not sure why Margus and the Blackguards are working together, but nothing good will come of it. Okay, that doesn't tell me his location. Of course, I gotta do the other two, which is what I was expected. Oh, is there an exit over here? No, it does not look like it. I thought this place had multiple exits, but... I don't know, there's, I think, one right here. Behind you. Somewhere over here. This may actually bring me farther away from where I want to go. So as I go to pursue this quest, if I run into any side quests, I'm going to stop to do those first. Since they won't take anywhere near as long as this quest because most quests tend to be in one area, you know, you don't move around too much, and I was right, I did get spit out farther away from where I wanted to go. Outside the city though, so that's the exit to get away from guards. You stay, if you're wanted, if you stay at the city long enough, your one hit level will slowly go down. Um, you can either pay a fine uh, to get rid of your one hit level, or there's something else I think.
Entropy. Oh wow, there's a lot in here. Anyway, I'm gonna head off to do these quests. <clears throat> so this is the egg one, this is the closer one. Oh yes, the uh, cake thing, if you eat it you get a Ben token or something. So, I think it's in Miss. No, then consumables? Okay, so, in... Let's not use this, because we're going to be running for a long time. Anyway, where's the cake? Oh, it's found in collectibles, isn't it? Um... Here we go. Are you bound tokens? Nice. Provide an event token. You can use these for special items from the Impressio Merchant. You can hold only 12 event tokens at a time. Um, I wonder who that is, or at least where they are. Eventually, I think that cake. What? Safe. Curse my lot. Hey, Horda, help me. Oh, you're over here. Are you the one who wants help, ma'am? Father, we have to- Sil Salen is under siege. We must get this madness under control. Madness? Can't you smell the smoke? Sil Salen is under attack. I barely got my father out alive. The cannon reeve, almost slain. These brutes may wear the uniforms of the first Oridon marines, but they're imposters. Where are they? They're agents of the Veiled Heritance. I'm sure of it. Tell Dur, my father's assistant, is trying to organize a defense. You look capable. Will you help Sil Salen? I'll find told her at once. We'll be waiting in the barn down the road. Good luck in there. Like a bit more information. There's not much time. What do you need to know? Uh, what can you tell me? We were expecting an attachment from the first Oridon Marines to prepare for the Queen's visit. Then this lot arrived and started killing and burning. We were readying for a celebration, not a slaughter. You're sure they're imposters? Why would the Queen send men to attack her loyal subjects? It makes no sense. But it would be just the sort of ruse the Veiled Heritants would use to undermine her authority. Uh, who are the Veiled Heritants? A group of Altmer isolationists who hate outsiders. They think the Queen has been corrupted by our alliance with the Bosmer and Khajiit, and seek to overthrow her. Who is, uh, O'Connell? My father, and the man standing beside me, silly fool. Okay, bye-bye. 
Canon Reeve Valano at your service. I hope I have the answers. Ask away. Ah, uh, what can you tell me about the attack? My assistant Teldor and I were overseeing preparations for the Queen's visit. I thought it odd that the Marines arrived so far ahead of schedule, but decided that fortune favored us. I've never been so wrong. Okay, right, bye bye. I don't really care either. Um, anyway. Oh, such pain. Okay, so that's where I'm seeing running to the barn is people who have managed to flee. The Veiled Heritance. This is my first time hearing about them in this playthrough. You hear about them in the main story. At, at some point. Try this pony. Oh, thanks guys. Oh, did no. Didn't let me read his contents. Uh, we've intercepted the mean Marines. Their extra gear has been stashed for future use as ordered. None were slain in the ambush. They're bound in the cellar beneath their meeting point for the veil. Um. Alright, I'm trying to sort through my quest. Okay. Aerodon. Let's do real marines first. Oops, I don't want to abandon that. Talk to that person later. Like round back. I was right. The Marines are more important because they can help take back the city. Thank the eight. Quickly untie us. Who are you? Captain Tendil of the First Oridon Marines. We were sent here at the behest of Her Royal Majesty Queen Irene. We walked into a trap. Agents of the Veiled Heritons stripped us of our uniforms and gear and left us here to burn. Imposters are burning town. Where are your weapons? We have a stash at the farm near the edge of town. Return them to us. I'll personally see that every last imposter dies screaming for mercy. It's a deal, it is. Thank Please you. I'll untie the rest. You get that gear for us. Cool. I would get to work, buddy. I like with the outside quest, it feels like you can do it at your own um, point. Well, it's like it feels like it's more of your own because you're not going to run into as many players doing them. Because every player does things at their own pace. Some players only do the main story, some, like me, do side quests, and some do a mix of both. So. We both want to do magic, buddy. It was easy. Porch increased rank two. Suck. Good job. I do this. Um. Okay, so we got their armor. All we need is weapons. They didn't attack you. Cool. They can't go through fences.
Now we got everything. Why do I feel like there's more? You don't even have to block. They don't do enough damage to seriously put me in any danger of dying. But it's a good habit to get into, especially with like mini bosses, where they'll actually do enough damage to put you in danger of dying. Any luck? Yep. Here it is. We'll gear up and patch our wounds. In the meantime, find out who's behind this conspiracy. I'll send one of my best men along with you to help loosen some tongues. Stars guide your steps. Yes. Uh, so that's a weapon. Skull lines only level if you want to. Ha if you have an ability from that line on your hotbar, weapon skill lines will also advance if you have that weapon type equipped. Ooh, I could choose Prophet Skier. So, Dagger or Zord. That's two handed though. So, let's do Dagger. Uh, and let's do Stamina. And then. Okay, so temporarily, I forgot about that. Um, let's do oh, well, because at one point you get, you know, like I th actually I think that's only level fifteen, and I'm already who knows what level. So, increased spell value. Oh, it's Ornit. Huh. You have good gear. Problem is though that uh, I don't just I just don't want to use those weapon types. Ah, oh, this works. Oh, we're gonna mark that as junk. Everybody, sorry to keep you waiting. Are you insane? Can't you see the town is under attack? Even when sent me? Did she? How do I know you're not one of the imposters? Uh, do you want my help or not? Fine. Grab that bucket from the well and put out the fires. If you find any villagers, tell them they need to evacuate until it's safe. What are you waiting for? Move like you have a purpose. And what are you going to be doing? Refuse to answer an outsider's pointless questions, for one. I'll catch up with you at the barn later. Now go! So bossy for someone who wants to tell me nothing about himself. Let's switch these, actually. There we go. Just makes me feel better about myself. Okay, so fires. Okay, just walk in the fire, why don't you meet? You did it. I'm free. You are, okay. Oh yes, so I have this card with me. Yay. 
Do I have to save that villager? Is there one back? Nope, there's not one back here. Oh, it actually feels annoying having I mean, been annoying having you know other people doing the exact same quest as you. Me. And in your debt. Just tend to like doing things solo. leave you guys to do your thing. So easy for me to help. Oh, was it my abilities? I need a Morth, one of them. I'll check in a bit. At, well, my next level, I'll probably check. The files are under control thanks to you. Saved as many as I could, which was five. Well, more than five were saved, but I saved five or well, six personally. We'll be a long time in rebuilding, but your bravery won't be forgotten. Now, to more pressing matters, Teldur has betrayed us. Uh, betrayed you? Why? Uh, when? Why? Teldor asked Canon Reeve Villano for a word outside. When they didn't return, I went to look for them. I got a glimpse of them heading towards the manor. Teldor was holding a knife to my father's side. The manor? Our home. The Canon Reeve's residence. Teldor's quarters are there as well. Please, you must go there quickly. I fear for my father's life. I will find them. Teldor must answer for his crimes. You know, I came this way hoping not to run into a single person. You destroy those plans with your very existence. You're off, mud crab. You're like so weak. Literally can't can't do a thing against me. Nope, sorry, I one shot at them. Oh they killed you. Oh no they didn't. What's up with that? You're just transparent. Which I'm pretty sure is normally what you look like when you're dead, but you're not dead. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, we got the key. In we go. Tell door, buddy. Where are you hiding? Oh, hey, you got what you deserved. <coughs> the Cannon Reef betrayed us. Betrayed us all. Uh, Elen Wynn said you were the betrayer. I found proof. Canon Reeve Villano, member of the Veiled Heritants, didn't want to believe. I confronted him. He tried to escape, captured him, brought him here. His men were waiting. 
You need help. No. Too late for me. M must go. Stop Volano before he escapes. Tell her. You died. Do you want to say anything to me? No. Okay, Marine. Why does the statue? Not exactly as silent as a mouse, but it's quite a statue. Oh, uh, speaking wise, not movement wise. Ooh. You think you can trifle with the veiled heretics and live to tell the tale? <laughs> Bye then. Oh, wait, is she here? She is here. You know, I didn't want to fight you guys again. The air is going on. Your valiant rescue of the first Oridon Marines was well timed. They've driven off the last of the imposters. What news of the traitor Teldor? Was Canon Reed Volano injured? Teldor is dead. But uh, your father was the traitor. My father was a traitor to the crown? Orchestrated an assault on his own people? Why? Why would you do this, father? Eh. Ah, oh, already leveled up again. Nice. Okay, press P to access Dungeon Finder. Select your wall, damage healer, or tank, then join the queue. To equip or change mounts, press U to enter the collection's menu. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do health. Oh, I can raise everything. So let's raise everything. Okay, bond with nature. Right? No? Okay. Any of you morph? You cannot. You can. Chanted growth. 20 meters, 20 meters. So, magicka or stamina? Remember, um. Oh, heals for 15% more on allies that are within 8 meters of you. And then any target healed gains minor intellect and minor endurance, increasing the magic on stamina recovery by 15% for 20 seconds. So... This one seems better, to be honest. And then that's another healing ability. I already have one, so I don't know. Anything else more? A feral guardian. As a grizzly bear by his side, the grizzly swipes in an enemy. Killing magicka. Uh, once someone you can activate guardian's wrath for 75 ultimate, causing grizzly to maul an enemy. Increases. Deals 100% damage. Let's do this as our ultimate. Uh, you purchased an ultimate ability. Ultimate abilities require a special resource called ulti ultimate before they can be used. Gain ultimate by engaging in combat. Once you have enough ultimate, you can use the ultimate ability by pressing R. Nice. Okay, so for armor, medium, we're going to get... Oh, wait, now let's do heavy, because I think... Oh, nope. Can't do that. I do have skill points, so... But you can be morphed. Um, so, he doesn't advise one over the other. To slice an enemy with both weapons to cause deep lacerations, dealing 113 bleed damage with each weapon and causing them to bleed for an additional 
4385 lead damage over 10 seconds. Uh, this does 1097 bleed damage and they bleed for an additional of 4385 over 10 seconds. It you for 877 health with each tick. I honestly don't need a healing ability. That doesn't need to be healing, because I already have healing. Um, we don't need that. Anyway. Mounts we're gonna equip. Well, you're already equipped. Um. You've reached level 10, you can enter PvP battlefields and Ciderdow. Not doing that. Okay, so horse. Oops, I just used my ultimate. Hey buddy. Okay, um horse. Ah, I can't do side my mouse buttons. That's weird. Oh, so it's H. Cool. Oh, what's a non-use button that's easy to hit? Uh, does F get used? It's weird how some of these are only toggled to tertiary action. action. Okay. Oh, there we go. Anyway, uh, H. So, we officially finished this quest, so guys, that will be it for this video, hope you guys have enjoyed, like, video, comment, and subscribe for more, subscribe to my next video, whenever, whatever, that one may be, I guess.